Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is some Prince Andrew breaking news. Yo, so we have some breaking news right now. Just hit the wire about 35 minutes ago. A second woman has come forward and said she had sex with Prince Andrew that was facilitated by Jeffrey Epstein. So from the very beginning, folks, I said that the dominoes were going to come down, right? I, we've been talking about it here. I've been talking with you in emails about it. This, this man is in big trouble. I don't, I don't see how they could even devise a strategy to defend him at this point. This is a second accuser. Now, it doesn't say if she was underage or anything like that. It just says a second accuser in the in the headline. And I once again, I haven't read the article yet. I wait to read it with you so you could have my natural reaction and either agree with me or laugh at my histrionics because that's usually what happens. When I'm reading these articles alone, I, I just I throw my hands up in exasperation and, and talk to myself sometimes even because it's so... It's so beyond the pale that this is really happening. This is like the kind of thing that happens in a movie, right? Royalty, raping young girls, and and being involved in a trafficking scheme. It's something that we're programmed to think would never happen in the real world. And if you think it would, well, you're the conspiracy theorist. Well, folks, I have news for you, all right? Here's the curtain. I'm drawing it back, and now I want you to get a good, hard look at those who rule over us. And ask yourselves, why do we give them the power to rule over us? Because really, the power is with us, right? The people in the Western world, and I'm, I'm guessing that's everyone who's listening to this podcast, the power is with us, not with the government. We give them, you know, the we, we let them hold the keys for a little while, right? But at the end of the day, if we demand answers, they must give us answer, answers. And that's what's happening in the UK right now. Andrew is really, it's really looking, folks, I, you know, I don't want to sound too optimistic because we know how this, this kind of stuff goes, but it's really looking like Andrew is at the very least going to be held to account and have to speak to the authorities on record. And that's the starting point. That is where we have to, at the very least, we got to get all of these people under oath. That way, if they lie and perjure themselves, they can get their houses raided like, uh, like, um, stone. And then, you know, you can get, get your, uh, your whole entire, uh, Situation screwed up when the FBI comes and, and kicks in your door or keeps you imprisoned like Julian Assange or, you know, because that's what they're going to do to these people, right? I mean, when you lie to the FBI, that's what they do. Or when you lie to um, Congress, that's what they do now. So I expect them to do that with child molesters, of course. No more tipping anybody off, right? Nobody, they're not going to tell your buddies like you did Jeffrey Epstein. You're just going to kick in doors, I hope. But we all know that there is a two-tier justice system, not just in America, but worldwide. Like I said, though, this is promising. This is another witness coming forward saying that, yes, he had sex with young girls or girls in general provided by Jeffrey Epstein. And now if he had sex with this woman as well, could it really truly be, like I said, I threw it out there a while ago, that Jeffrey Epstein was blackmailing him this whole time? He had him caught up in this whole, you know, everybody knows Andrew likes to get it in. Everybody knows he likes to party no matter what he says. So did Epstein use that against him after he was brought into Epstein's life by Ghislaine Maxwell, get the blackmail on him. And then, of course, well, we all know what happens when he has the blackmail. If he has the blackmail information, he has the power. Andrew could have survived a tryst with an, a, a woman of age, right? Things happen. Dudes do things, they, you know, whatever, they, they buy prostitutes, hey, okay, whatever, two consenting adults, not my business, nor anyone else's. But when you get into this sort of thing, trafficking and, and having sex with underage girls, it becomes a whole different ball, games, ball game. And I have to tell you right now, folks, I think Prince Andrew is going to really, 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 really be facing the fire now. If he wasn't before, he certainly is now, because now we have a second witness proving, according to her, according to her, remember... You know, we don't, nothing's proven yet. We have no, but according to this other witness, well, her and Prince Andrew also had relations due to Jeffrey Epstein facilitating it. So if you would like to get in contact with me, you could do that at Bobby Capucci at ProtonMail.com. That's B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at ProtonMail.com. Let's dive into this article, shall we? The Mirror. Headline. 
Second Jeffrey Epstein victim tells lawyer she had sex with Prince Andrew too. Yikes. Prince Andrew may have withdrawn from public duty, but the latest claim by an alleged victim of Jeffrey Epstein has put him in the spotlight once more. The woman has spoken to lawyers representing others who say they were abused by Epstein. It follows Virginia Roberts' explosive claims that pervert Epstein trafficked her to have sex with Andrew three times when she was a teenager. A lawyer is checking the new allegations against Epstein to decide whether to include them in a lawsuit against the deceased financier's estate. Pedophile. A source said they would do a rigorous investigation. So I wonder what that entails. I'm sure that these lawyers will are going to do their due diligence, right? You're talking about Prince Andrew here. You can't just be throwing a bunch of crap at the wall hoping it sticks. You better have something ironclad if you're coming after this guy. There is no indication that the woman claims to have been coerced into having sex with Andrew. Well, that doesn't matter really, right? If she was part of a trafficking ring, I think that's the most important thing to take away from here. Like I said, if she's being trafficked by uh, Jeffrey Epstein, well, eh, then she's really not doing it, you know, giving consent, right? She's doing it against her will if she's being trafficked. If her case is presented to a judge, she would become the second woman to state an oath that they had sex with the Duke of York as a result of his friendship with the convicted sex offender. Like I said, he facilitated it, he set up the meetings, and there you go. Virginia Roberts alleges Epstein trafficked her to Andrew and they had sex three times from 2001 when she was 17. This week, she appeared on Panorama repeating her allegation saying, He knows what happened. I know what happened, and there's only one of us telling the truth, and I know that's me. The prince, 59, has denied Robert's claims and says he cannot remember meeting her, despite them being pictured together. Ghislaine Ma- oh, no, and excuse me, not only being pictured together, how about the email there, prince? How about the email you sent your, your good friend Ghislaine asking about some questions about Virginia Roberts? You sure remembered her then, huh? But you don't remember her now. You're making it too easy, Prince Andrew. You are making it too easy. Easy, you dullard. Ghislaine Maxwell, now 57, who allegedly recruited girls for Epstein, is also in the photograph. She denies wrongdoing. A third woman, Johanna Schuberg, 39, has alleged Andrew touched her breast as she sat on his knee at Epstein's New York home in 2001 when she was 21. Well, why wouldn't he? If everything else is for grabs, it's a, a, a buffet of human flesh. Why wouldn't Andrew think that this is game too? Just another, just to throw another piece of gas, another bit of gas on the fire because the, the, the flames are starting to crackle a lot more here, aren't they? When you add all, when you take all of this stuff just as one-offs, you're like, oh, all right, well, that could be a coincidence. When you start adding all the evidence up from what Prince, uh, what Prince Andrew was up to with Jeffrey Epstein, there is only one conclusion you can come to, folks. Only one conclusion people can come to if they're not being silly about things. All right? To think Andrew did not know what was going on when he is obviously as deep as deep could be in this is the, either A, naive, or B, incredibly evil because you're enabling the enabling. In a Newsnight interview last month, Andrew admitted letting the side down. Talk about the understatement of the day, huh? He let the side down. What is this, a soccer match? What, did you have an own goal? You s- moron. By staying with Epstein in New York in 2010, after the American had spent time in jail for child sex offenses, the Duke quit his public duties amid a storm of criticism after the interview. Aw, just just had to quit. That's it? That's all you had to do, huh? Must be nice to be a, a rich, elite aristocracy. The rest of us, forget it. We wouldn't have to quit our jobs. We'd have to quit life because we'd be buried underneath a prison for these sort of allegations. A source told Amira the latest claim against Epstein was being checked by the woman's lawyers. Her legal team are now carrying out a rigorous investigation, they said. The source added, any of the abused girls in Epstein's orbit knew not only of his demands, but also his anger. And this is an ongoing theme, right, with this guy. Every time we hear about another victim, they talked about how he would get angry, how he would act like he was a crazy man, all of it. And so all of these girls are lying, right? All of these girls are lying. He ruled with fear. His victims knew that if they didn't do what he was expected, what, what was expected of them, there would be repercussions. 
private detectives working for the women's lawyers believe that she was one of the Epstein victims. This week, it was revealing nine... This week, it was revealed nine more women had come forward to claim he sexually abused them. One was just 13, according to a lawsuit. Seven of the women say Epstein and his, and his associates sexually assaulted, abused, battered, and raped them. For two victims, this happened repeatedly, say the court papers which were filed on Tuesday. The accuser's lawyer, Jordan Merson, says the alleged abuse occurred in New York, New York, Florida, New Mexico and the U.S. Virgin Islands between 1995 and 2007. We need more spotlight on New Mexico. We don't have nearly enough about New Mexico. Just dribbles out little bits and pieces. I wonder why. I wonder who's being protected in New Mexico, Bill Richardson. I wonder what, who else was at that Zorro Ranch, Bill Clinton. I have a lot of questions, and I haven't received nowhere near enough answers. He says the women have been left with mental issues and some had attempted suicide. Yeah, again, the ongoing issue with these girls, an ongoing theme. And why wouldn't you, right? Being abused by these sick, demented sons of bitches? Feeling like you're abandoned by the whole entire goddamn world? Yeah, I could see how suicide could enter your mind. These women have lifelong trauma as a result of what Epstein did to them. And now, they have a chance at justice, Merson said in a statement. I hear that. Hear, hear. I hope so. Prosecutors in the U.S. have pledged to continue to pursue anyone who helped Epstein carry out his crimes despite his jail cell suicide in August, allegedly. Okay, so let's see it then. Words are wind. Can we get some arrests? What's up? How come it's only the two guards who are arrested? Where's their boss? Where was he or she? Where was his boss? Who's in charge? Why did the warden only get transferred? Why didn't the warden get arrested? Do you see where I'm going with this, folks? He had faced up to 45 years in jail if found guilty of federal sex trafficking charges at the time of his death. And why is it only 45 years in jail, by the way? It should be a life sentence. What, is this guy going to be reformed? He's going to prison and he's going to be reformed as he whittles wood and makes uh, license plates for four cents a month? Get the bleepity blop blop out of here. Prison, rest of your life. If you're involved in sex trafficking or abusing women, there's no rehabilitation for that. You're an absolute animal. You need to be treated as such. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. U.S. Attorney General Barr recently hinted arrest could be imminent. Previously, he had vowed any co-conspirator should not rest easy. Merson says he is still probing, probing who the Epstein Associates were. Oh, well, Mr. Merson, give us a call. Tune into the podcast. We have a whole list of them for you there, sir. Would love to be of assistance. After he called on executors of his 440 million pound estate to show they care for the, the survivors by ensuring they are fully compensated. Over a dozen women have already filed lawsuits saying they were abused by Epstein. Lawyers for the estate and it, for its executors, Darren Indyke and Richard Kahn, did not immediately respond to the Mirror's request for a comment. Buckingham Palace did not comment. Wow. All right, folks, so there it is. We have a, a second gal coming forward now saying that she had sex with Prince Andrew as a result of the friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. Now, it doesn't seem that she's underage, right? So let's make sure we get that on record. We want to be factual. We want to be factual. There's enough bad shit to stick this man with that we don't need to make shit up. Just like with Donald Trump. If they really wanted to go after him for bad stuff, they could have went after him with all the bad stuff to make it stick. But no, what did the media do? They had to be self-aggrandizing. They had to say all kinds of crazy crap that isn't true. And we're not going to play that game. So we don't know if this girl was underage. We don't know what the situation is. All that we know is allegedly, according to her, and the private investigators find it credible, but who knows? We don't know who those private investigators are, right? We don't know what their credibility level is. So just because somebody is labeled a private investigator doesn't mean we're going to believe them. Again, we want to believe it because it fits our confirmation bias. But we're going to be skeptical. We're going to make sure that we vet everything and we get all the information correct, but we need to go on record and, and let it be known that this is happening right now. A second girl has accused Prince Andrew, and if the American media won't report it, since, you know, they, they, they have higher standards, I guess, here in America, ha 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 ha, 
If they don't report it, well, I, that's where we come in, the independent journalists. I'm going to slide right on in, right into your, wherever you get your podcast downloaded, slide in and let you folks know the deal. Because we're not playing games with these people, right? We're not messing around. We're not, we're not joking around. We're not here to, you know, we're not here to play gotcha politics or, well, this side's better than that. We're not doing it. Nope. Sorry. Not doing it. Following the evidence. Credible accusations only as we turn predators into the prey. All right, folks. Well, I thought I I would have been back just for the Daily Drop earlier, but here I am with this one. So guessing it'll just be the Daily Drop later on tonight, and then we will resume course tomorrow, and we will see where the day leads. If you would like to contact me, you can do that at bobbycapucci at protonmail.com. That is B-O-B-B-Y-C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. And if you like the content, you enjoy what we do here, and you want to support the show, you can follow the GoFundMe link in the description box.